Hey there, you're watching Jimmy Tries. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Jimmy Tries. This is Sir You Are Being Hunted. Very, very excited. I have just tried out one world so far just to see what it's like, see if it works and all that sort of stuff. We'll get rid of that. We'll start a new world. Very, very excited to start this one. Uh, I'll tell you about it while it's loading. Uh, let's let's sort out our map. Let's get a rural mountain region. Let's get some fens. Let's get an industrial region. And let's get another rural region as well. So let's go for it. Let's start building the new world. So what is Sir You Are Being Hunted? Well, it is a survival, kind of a survival horror, I guess. Uh, but it's mostly a survival game. And the goal of the game is to collect all the fragments that have somehow uh, exploded everywhere, uh, collect all of them, I think it's 25 in all, and to get them back to the centre of the map where you can build some sort of machine that will take you home because you are lost in these islands. Very, very exciting. It's made by Big Robot Limited. It's recently been kickstarted and even more recently got onto Steam and you can get it on early access at the moment for about 15 English pounds. Um, so, yeah, so it's, been, it's, it's an interesting one. I played it once, and it was it was good, but very, very hard. So I don't know how long this episode is going to be. It might not be very long at all, but hopefully I'll survive long enough to give, get you, uh, to give you a feel of what this game is like. It's randomly generated, as you can see, so the world is generating at the moment. It takes a little bit of time, which is a little bit annoying, but it's fair enough, you know, it's randomly generating a new experience every time, so we can't blame them too much for that. Um... I've never made it off the first island, though, to be honest, at the moment, because that's well, cause I've only played it once, and I didn't make it off the first island, the centre island. Uh, and then you travel between the different islands on boats, so it's not quite a massive, huge map. It's uh, it's, it's like different sections, not that that's a bad thing, um, but that's that's just how it is. Uh, and what you do is you you sneak about and you avoid these robotic robotic gentlemanly type things and who who try and hunt you down they've got shotguns they try and kill you and it is very very scary and you've got to hide because you generally can't fight them as a rule because you don't get enough ammo i found six bullets i think in my whole time on the first uh, my first try of this and i played for about half an hour so it's, it's tricky and i wasted all six bullets trying to kill one robot and failed miserably so the main goal of the game is stealth, really, and you get lots of tools to help you with that. You can scavenge houses for for, for things and uh, to help you to help you distract the robots. And you can also you also need to keep yourself well fed as well, so you don't die. So you need to scavenge houses for food, and not all the food is good, as we will see later on. And you need to bandage yourself when you get shot, and all sorts of good stuff like that. So it is very exciting. There's quite a lot of mechanics involved. It's, it's very much in alpha at the moment, uh, so if you don't know what that means, it basically means the game isn't finished yet, but it is in a playable state. So there are going to be bugs, and there are going to be features that get added to it as as uh, as the game developers keep making it. So just bear that in mind, we are playing in alpha, but it's definitely playable, I, in my opinion. It's very, very good and worth... Uh, worth the £15 or whatever the equivalent is in your local region, purchase. Uh, I've had a fair bit of fun in my first playthrough and hopefully we'll have the same amount of fun. I wish I'd recorded the first playthrough, it was so good. I uh, Hopefully we can have the same amount of fun in this playthrough and the same amount of excitement. Because uh, obviously that'll make for a better recording experience. I hope you guys are okay. Sorry there hasn't been a video for a little while, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been busy uh, and uh, that's it really. Minecraft uh, has... I recorded an episode and the whole thing managed to not record properly. It was all like funny looking. So it was a bit frustrating. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back into Minecraft uh, at a later date. If you haven't seen my Minecraft videos, do check them out on my page. Um, and we'll go back to that at a later date and I'll just have to show you what I did. I didn't do that much apart from Explore really. So I'll just give you an update video very soon. Um, and of course, a lot more video, lots of videos in the pipeline. It's just getting around to making them, isn't it? But at least we have... Jimmy tries, sir, you're being hunted. And it looks like we're pretty much done, actually. We're generating the island that we are going to be on. We'll skip the intro, because, to be honest, it's short, and it basically just says everything that I've just said about our goal to find these missing machine pieces. So, it's filling the region. Very, very excited. Very, very nervous at the same time. Of course, my game skills are going to come under scrutiny, as they, uh, as they often do when I make these videos, and they often uh, come out... That's a must do better, really, uh, <laughs> I would say. If you can... So the word's been generated. Let's skip all that. It's basically just a posh guy telling us what I've just said. 
Little handy survival tips there. So you've got to keep eating, don't forget. Very, very British, very English game this. I do like it, very deliberately so. Which is, uh, which is very nice, very different sort of aesthetic to what we're, what we're used to in shooter games. So here we are. Wow, look at this. This is the great British countryside, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's not the prettiest game in the world, but I, I, I like how it looks, to be honest. I actually do like it. Um, Here's uh, our little tutorial. Basically, this is a dead robot. It's telling us to click on him. We have done. This is what we found. Okay, so we've got some binoculars, which is fantastic. We want to equip those ah, straight away. Very useful. Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. As you can hear, that our little uh, our little friend really does. Our little friend. Uh, I, I guess it's our butler, that posh guy. I don't really know, but he he loves he loves me and he loves it when I do stuff that he tells me to. So we've got a map and binoculars. We haven't got a weapon. I had a weapon last time when I did this, which is a bit annoying. So we've got some bandages. We've got a map. Let's have a look at this map. That's going to be useful, actually, though. That is going to be incredibly useful because I didn't get a map last time. So we press I to go into our inventory and then we can... Uh, I can't equip this to a key, which is a bit strange. But we can use that if we get lost, which is nice. This is the stone that we have to bring things back to. And the things that we have to find look like this. They'll have smoke coming out of them like a little crater. We'll grab it, we'll take it over here, and we'll pop it into the centre stone, and then our little butler friend will get very happy indeed. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. So it's not the best voice acting in the world, <laughs> I think you'll agree, but it is alpha, so I don't know if that's a, uh, if that's a final voice or not, but... We'll see, I guess. So, let's have a little scout around with our binoculars. There's some smoke coming over there, which I'm interested in, very interested in, because that probably means there's a machine piece there. Um, so I guess we'll head in that direction. There aren't any houses, which was what I was hoping for, to scavenge things from, so we'll... We'll just head in this direction, I guess. Those blue things over there are sort of helpers, but they're a bit strange, because they, they go in a really roundabout route to where they're meant to be going, and they basically show you where other machine parts are, I think. Anyway, they seem to have been doing that for me so far. So let's crouch down, because we don't really know what's around this corner, and so, you know, we, we can lean this way and that way, and we can crouch, and we can jump, and we can sprint. All the usual sort of controls. Doesn't look like there's anything too nasty, so let's let's keep going. Let's probably vault over here, and actually, it looks like... I can't hear any robots. It looks like we're pretty safe, actually, if we just go and run out here. Grab this first piece. That was a very easy first one. That's fantastic. But a lot more to get yet. Yeah, as you can see, there's 24 pieces. We have, after I put this back, we'll have 23. So, we'll have 23 to get, rather. So, still a long, long way to go. And obviously, we won't be able to do it in this episode, but at least we'll show you some of the game mechanics. But do be careful finding the next one. I will. I will. There, this guy, we need to avoid, basically. This guy is, I don't know if you can still see him, I think he's sort of disappearing in the mist. But he's a little, like, camera that scouts around, and then when he sees you, he'll, he'll shout, and he'll be, he'll be like, oh, over here, over here, and they'll get all the robots to come and get you. So, we want to stay away from that as much as we can. So let's, let's just, we've got to play it slow, this game, but I know it's, there's a tendency for me, I don't know what that is. There's a tendency for me to rush these sort of games, and it, I think that's the hardest thing that people buying this game will have, the hardest thing that they, the hardest thing that they'll find, anyway, is to, is to slow down and take your time. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to rush it. You can just take your time, and then you're more likely to stay alive. Because obviously, we're used to first-person shooters, aren't we? Where we can just run in, shoot everything, and still be alive. It's not the case in this at all. So you've got to slow down. Enjoy the uh, deliciously textured grass. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a graphic. It's not a graphic powerhouse. But neither do, do we expect it to be. You know, it's their first ever game. Big Ro Big Robot Limited. It's the first ever game they made. It looks. It looks good. It looks functional. I like the way they've captured the English countryside. Actually, being a British fellow myself, I think it looks great. It's very, very different to uh, to any other game I've seen. Actually, any other sort of roguelike game, especially. So that's that's good to see. I guess it's not actually a roguelike, though, actually thinking about it, because you can save, can't you? So, you can save your progress. And as you can see in the top right, it's 0.6.4860 work in progress alpha. I want to find some house. Oh, God, there's our first robots. Can you see them? Utterly, utterly terrifying. Let 
us just... Oh, in fact, there's a village there, so let's let's go over to this village first. Do you know what I'm going to do quickly? I'm just going to knock down the graphics very, very slightly. Um, let's knock the shadows down to medium, perhaps. And water quality down to medium, because, uh, for some reason, I'm getting a bit of a frame rate lag. So that's a bit irritating. I feel that's a bit better. Uh, okay. So there seems to be nothing about... We can get up, I think, because it doesn't look like there's anyone about. I want to get to these houses, hopefully find some ammo or some sort of weapon. I found an axe last game as well, which I didn't actually get to use. But it's always nice, isn't it, to have something just as a backup. Even though the thing you rely on most, I think it's becoming night soon, the thing you rely on most is your running ability, which luckily this guy is quite a good runner. And also he can, like, he can vault over most things like that, which I like. I like a lot. Just make sure there's nothing around here. What is this? It's like a work in pro. It's like a big mansion. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some decent loot here. Let's have a look. It looks like there's something yes. useful in there. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. He is correct. We didn't find actually anything very good apart from pickled eggs there. And the dubious food, I've left all that behind because. I can hear a robot. Oh, God. Where is he? I've left all the dubious food behind because... I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> but I've left the dubious food behind because, basically, it is not the greatest thing to eat. It Actually, some of it puts down you. You've, if you see, look at the bottom left, you can see my vitality, which is uh, right near my visibility and my health. Health goes down when you're shot. Vitality goes down just gradually over time because it's how hungry you are, basically. Uh, but if you eat dubious food, it quite often puts down your vitality, so I quite often avoid it. I picked up that dead rat because I think you can cook dead rats and make them good. Like, good meat. Kill all the germs and it puts up your vitality quite a lot. I don't know why I heard that robot's voice, that's kind of weird. It just freaks me out a little bit. I can still hear him, like... His, mechan his, his machine parts just whirring away. Let's have a look in this mansion as well. So you can find anything. Look, as you can see, the textures are pretty horrible. And do you know what? The looting has got quite a lot of hate as well. This looting system. Hey, ammo, but I haven't got a gun. That's annoying. Take a couple of the dead rats again. Yeah, this looting system, not going to be able to go in the houses, has got a little bit of hate, actually. I think he's around here. Sharp stone. Chocolate biscuits. Fantastic. Yeah, because I think people expect to be able to go in the houses. They might have that in a later update. You never know. I'm a bit scared. There's definitely someone around here. Oh shit, there is. Okay, I don't want to be here anymore. Let's get out of here. Let us head in a different direction because I do not want to take him on without a weapon. Obviously, I actually can't take him on without a weapon. So, let's just keep running this way for now. Let's look for our next plume of smoke that we can head towards. Because that's basically what you've got to do. You've got to keep heading between... Oh no, there's a spy camera up there, but this guy's heading that way. I'm mean, okay, I'm just gonna head this way. There's still seven more to find this island. We're bound to stumble across another one. I actually really want to find, like, a village. Is my goal. Look at this. What's this? This is rocks. Oh, it seems like we're at the coast. Okay. Yeah, so I turned the water down to low, didn't I? So look, the water looks a bit horrible, but... Okay. Oh, and there's the boat. Okay, so you use the boat to travel to another island, basically. We don't want to do that. Let's just run around here. We're very much in a uh, exposed position on the rocks here, on the cliffs. We don't want to be in there. We want to get into this tall grass here, so that's good. Just in case anything sees us. As you can see in the map as well, the maps are not the most useful thing in the world, but it does help you out in a pinch. You can see that thing there that I'm looking at now, the sort of, uh, what is it, hexagon thing. Hexagon? Pentagon? Pentagon. That's what I want. <laughs> That's the word I want. Um, that is a boat that takes us to another island, and then that circle there is basically how you get to the, s the middle standing stone again to uh, drop off your your fragments that you find. So let's just be careful here. Desperate to find a village, and I can't, don't know where one is. Which is quite annoying. Quite well, annoying indeed. Let's vault over this if we can. Yes, we can. There's a barn there, but we... Oh, God. Is that a robot? No, it's not. Is 
There's a barn there, which probably doesn't have anything in. Ah, there's a church there. That could be useful. Okay, we could loot some stuff out of that church. That'd be fantastic. Because I'm starting to get hungry, to be honest. And, well, I might as well eat something now. I've got a spooky pumpkin. You get that as part of one of the Halloween updates. So, uh, even though Halloween was a little while ago now, wasn't it? But I'll eat that. My vitality is now full, so it means that we won't starve to death. And also, we will heal. Oh, God, there's two of them. There must be something there if there's two at the church. Okay. Super smelt stealth mode activated. We are... We are moving in. Let us get something equipped just in case. This sharp rock will do, and so will this bottle. This bottle will help us out if we need it. We can always lob this bottle away, and it will uh, it will distract them, hopefully. Oh, God, this is probably a really stupid idea. But I'm completely hidden here, so I can just watch them as long as I want. And no harm will come to me. As you can see by the visibility, is because the, the eye disappears if I stop. So I can just sort of observe them. Shit. 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 I didn't expect them to turn around, so... I am completely hidden here, apparently, according to the... Uh... So, yeah, you've got to... You've got to sort of suspend your dis disbelief for a moment as well. Okay. Oh. So, no, obviously... I think he can see me. I think he can see me. I know, obviously, it does... I'm trying to get completely hidden again. I'm not, though. Obviously, we are pretty much out in the open here. It's quite sparse grassland, but according to the mechanics, you know... Oh, shit! According to the mechanics, we are completely hidden, so therefore we are completely hidden. Hidden, rather. I just want to loot this church. Tense, tense, heart stopping stuff. It is incredibly tense. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess these must be Kickstarter people. Maybe Chris Whittle dead at last. Wow. I'm a bit scared I'm going to come face to face with these guys when I come around the corner. So I just want to stay in the long grass. We can loot the front door of this church. I can hear them chuntering away and bleep, bleep, bloop, 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 bling away. Is there a front door to this church? Maybe not. Maybe I should just get out of here. Oh, they are, they are a long way away, actually. We can have a little look around here. Let's get these binocs out. Oh, shit. There's f oh, my God. There's four of them. Right, let's get out of here. He said, how are you? Right, I want to jump over this. F actually, no, I don't have to jump over the fence. I can just go out this bit. They're all talking to each other. I like the I like their voices. To be honest, I mean it's quite they're quite cool. They say stuff like "Where is Where is he?" Stuff like that to each other. Okay, right, we got away from them. That's fine. Not too dangerous. If you stay hidden, they're okay. That looks promising over there. I can see another building. So, oh no! Oh damn it! There's a piece there, and it's guarded by fiends. So what I want to do is I want to get into this. Get in here, sprint across, sprint across. My visibility is at full, but it doesn't matter, because... What? No! Someone's shouting that I'm over here, and I don't know who it is. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? We don't want that at all. There! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! He's saying, over here, over here, everyone. I think if we keep our... Oh, shit, they've seen us. I think if we... Oh, no! No, no, no! I think if we keep our eyes on that skeleton... Uh, on that scarecrow, then he won't move. I think he's like the... Uh, slender, basically. Okay, what I want to do is I want to loop around now... Where was that piece? Where was that piece? Where was that fragment? 
There it is, I think. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Jesus Christ, they're shooting at me. Okay. Okay, Jesus. 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 Oh, no, I'm taking a shot. I'm taking a shot. Okay, I'm just going to grab this piece. Take all, take all. Run, 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 run. Get out of it, get out of it. Ah! Heal, heal, heal. Press H. Okay, I bandaged myself up. Oh my goodness me. I think we're away. Keep looking, keep looking, they keep saying. Okay, let's keep going, keep moving, keep moving. Whew. Where are they, where are they, where are they? There's another piece here which is frustrating because I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it up. Oh, let's try it. Hopefully it's a small one. Oh, damn it, it's a big one. Quick, quick, quick. I'm just a bit scared they're going to come up behind me. In fact, they are coming behind me. I am completely hidden, though. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of this dead rat. I'm going to... Oh, shit. Discard. I don't know what to get rid of. I'm trying to work this out now. See, this is where it, the survival comes in, I guess. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Move that up one. I shouldn't have to get rid of them yet, did we? Damn it. Never mind. Some dead rats. We've got two pieces, so what we need to do now is head back sharpish. First, I want to check out, loot these things, see if... Oh, fuck, there's more robots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lob a bottle over here. There we are. And that'll get them all looking over there. Oh, that's distracting them all. Look, they're running. There's four of them, in fact, so we do not... We, we want to get back. We want to go drop off these pieces, these fragments, so we can save it. It is terrifying. It, the, the feeling of powerlessness, though, I do like that. It's, 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 it's not a new thing in games at all. Uh, I mean, Dark Souls did it to a certain extent. Look, there's more over there as well. They're all searching the countryside for me. It's not a new, it's not a new mechanic at all, but it's done very well because it's in such a different setting. Like this sort of countryside setting, it does, it, it, it just feels great. Oh god, there's another one of those bloody scarecrows there. We don't want them. But yeah, they've done it well, and I'm, I do think, I do think it's definitely, it's a buy from Jimbo, this. I really, really enjoy it. If you enjoy any sort of stealthy shooters or just games that build, a, build tension like this, then it is the game, it is the game to buy, I would say. Nothing like it on the market at the moment that I can think of. And they, they keep developing it, I mean, they've, they've added several new biomes recently. God, I need to get through him as well, maybe. Um, they've added more enemies, like that Scarecrow, which is a bit of a scary one. That goes, over here! I haven't quite worked out how that one works at all. Oh, for God's sake, he's there. I don't have to stop him. I do not know how to stop that scarecrow. It's a very strange one. Yeah, but he's not, like he's one of those ones that they've added in. They've added dogs apparently. I haven't seen any. Oh fuck off! How do I get rid of him? They've added. There he is. They've added several things like yeah, dogs. Dogs is another thing that I was trying to say. Well, oh Jesus Christ! We're taking shots. We're taking shots. Get out of here. But hopefully we won't run into those dogs while we're doing this, because that would be a step too far and a step too hard, I think. Okay, it looks like we've lost that. There he is, look. Stupid scarecrow. It looks like we've lost him. They haven't got any dogs with them. Apparently dogs are really good at sniffing you out and they run really fast, even though they can't actually attack. So we want to avoid that as much as we can. That thing, I need to wait for that to go past and then we will. I'll just get into the tall grass a bit more so I can be completely hidden. There we go. But you've also got to watch out for things like birds, for example, and there are birds on the ground. If you walk over those birds and disturb the birds, the robots will all come running. Or if you light a fire because you need to cook some meat because you're starving, the robots will all come running. Oh, shit. How did it see me? How did it see me? They're all going to come running. They're all going to come running. Okay. Whew. Broken the line of sight. All the robots are coming running. 
He is hiding. That's what you said. He's here somewhere. I'm a bit scared because that thing's going to come over here again in the minute. I just want to drop off these two things that I can just sprint in another direction. Whew! So that was our first look at Sir... I'm just going to pop this in here. A few more of those and we can activate the device. Pop that in there. Save progress. Let's get saving. Let's hide just for before I start the next session. Um, but yeah, that was our first look at Sir, you are being hunted. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is something very, very different to anything we've tried or seen before, in, in, in my opinion. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. It's very, very tense. Um, if you want this, it's on the Steam store at the moment. It's in Steam Early Access. So do check it out if you like this, if you like this video. Uh, otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want more content like this. And give it a like if you enjoyed this video. I've been Jimmy Ward. Thank you very, very much for watching this. Jimmy Tries, Sir, you are being hunted.